Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. BoxingVoice.com. What broke him down? Was it just a body punching? I was hitting with body punching. I heard him actually was crying in there. You were saying that Big was crying when you yeah. hit him? Yes. When, when did that happen? And you clapped the fourth round on. BoxingVoice.com. So that you knew you had him by that Absolutely, time. Absolutely, I knew you were fucking tough and you were taking those punches. Making women dresses like, oh, oh, oh. Let's go, champ. <laughs> it's the champ. He's sharing the champ. What's the fake champ? It's the champ, ladies and gentlemen. TBV, we are back with another TBV in the morning. We're here to talk a little UK boxing, actually international boxing. All our American listeners know Peter Petrov. Well, he's going to be giving Terry Flanagan of the UK the toughest fight of his career. He's the toughest opponent to date. It's a sexy little fight that we have to talk about. If this is something you're interested in, something and you want to participate in, well, then you know the number to call in, one 569 International callers, add Nesta Gibbs on Skype, N-E-S-T-O-R-G-I-B-B-S. Let's head on out to two states that uh, right about now aren't doing too sunny, but let's see how the weather is in Florida. Boxing MD, what's going on, brother? I know you want to see this on this side. We're going to head on over to a doctor, Sunshine State. Sunshine State. Boxing MD. Boxing MD, what's going on? Um, is, that, is that a fair statement to me? You have to be honest with yourself. Well, it's always a sunny day since we're here with the TBV family, right? It's always a sunny day, but this is a great step-up fight, finally, for Terry Flanagan, who's fought in weak ass opposition since he's won his WBA belt. Um, so I'm glad to see him tested against a veteran, a guy who has recently only lost two elite fighters, that being Zlata Cannon and Marcus Maidana. So it's definitely a step up. So, you know, and uh, one one last thing I got to say before we introduce Matt. Yo, Matt, you could criticize HBO's budget, but don't take hits on Game of Thrones. Like, come on, man. I, Battle of the Bastards, I, I you know what? I'd almost willing to sacrifice uh, some boxing to just make that budget higher. So, you know, just don't criticize Game of Thrones. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I'm a huge Game of, Game of Thrones fan, first off. And I read the book, so fuck off, MD. All I'm saying is Westworld, hey. fuck, fuck Westworld and fuck girls. Like, criticize those. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was staying in the back nice and relaxed until you mentioned Westworld. That is the shit. Yeah, <laughs> I have to agree with Ness on that one. Yeah, you got to get that. I use that to go to sleep sometimes. I put it on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to see everyone's doing well. Matt, Matt, how is it for you? I know the storms or or, or a lot of raining is going on that way. What's up? Uh, nothing much, man. Uh, just hanging out with my kid lately. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I'm just been staying inside. It's been raining like a motherfucker out here. You know, we had basically every road out of my neighborhood has been like flooded. So we've been like hunkered in. There's been sirens and fire trucks and police going all over the place. Ambulances. It's been pretty nuts. Um, but anyways, man, I think these fights are great. I think this is a, a great step on uh, Frank Warren going to BT Sports. And BT Sports is just a massive platform uh, in the UK compared to uh, Box Nation. You know, so I think having a double header, because it is a double header, you have this fight, you know, Terry Flanagan versus Peter Petrov, which is a fantastic fight. Uh, like MD said, Petrov has only lost to elite competition in the last pretty much decade. And you have in the co-main event, Liam Smith in the rebound fight against another undefeated highly talented prospect in Liam Williams. So I think this is a great doubleheader for uh, the first event for Frank Warren on BT Sports. I think it's fair to say uh, to the listeners that may not know, you might be running across the title of the show and say, who the fuck is Flanagan? Who is Peter Petrov? Who are these guys that they're talking about? But, you know, um, Petrov losses come to you know from Zlatikin who's going to be facing Mikey Garcia January 28th on the Leo Santa Cruz and Carl Frampton part two 
fight. And he also lost to Marcos Rene Maidana. You guys know Maidana uh, last out in two uh, great fights with Floyd Mayweather Jr. And we all know what he did to Adrian Broner. So like the co-hosts have been saying, you know, Petrov only losing to the elite. But, you know, a UK fan, just to play devil's advocate, guys, like a UK fan will say the same. They're like, all right, well, you guys are saying that Flanagan hasn't faced anybody. Who the hell is Petrov faced that he's actually beat? Right. Um, because I'm sure that the UK guys don't think much or know Michael Perez, which is a guy that we know. But how good is Perez? How good of a win is Perez over Petrov's career? Is Perez even a barometer for a Flanagan? They're not on the same level. That's not the same pedigree at all. You know, scale of one to ten. I'm sure those numbers will be all around. But then playing devil advocate to myself, doesn't that in-ring experience with elite level fighters that we spoke of mean something? For Petrov. What I do know is that his body attack is relentless. His power is very decent. I can see him hurting anybody. We've seen him do a lot of damage. He's he's not just a typical come forward fighter either. He has that turtle, you know, like ninja turtle shell, the way that he kind of uses his high guard, but his back arches over into like a C kind of position where he covers up pretty much all the real estate when you're trying to attack him. Then he unloads to the body quickly. He really lets his hands go. I like this fight. He's going to push Flanagan. If Flanagan is what the world thinks he is, well, then he will rise to the top like the cream. But if not, Petrov is just the guy to definitely derail this champion. Yeah, I don't... I think I, I agree 100% what you're saying. If Flanagan is what... Um, you know, what boxing needs, right, is another great champion from the UK. Um, sorry about that background noise. But he would beat Petrov, and I think he'll beat him uh, pretty widely. I don't think it's easy to beat Peter Petrov, but I think he'd beat him pretty widely, like like Zotti Cannon did. You're, like crazy. Not. You're crazy if you think it's wide. No, wide as far as it wouldn't be um, a, a decisive win. I don't mean wide in the sense that it would be an easy win, right? You could beat somebody... Um, eight to four, nine to three, and you have to work every single round. And it's still a clear cut decision. That's kind of what I'm saying. I don't think it's going to be that close of a fight if Flanagan is on that level. I think that he is not the heaviest puncher, but I think that he has the boxing pedigree and the skills and the speed and the angles to beat Peter Petrov, who does have power, but I don't necessarily put him on the same level as what I think Flanagan can be. That's kind of how I see this fight, which is, it's a great fight. And it's, you know, it's a huge step up if you're going from beating uh, Twinkle Toes to fighting uh, Terry Flanagan. I mean, to fighting Peter Petrov. You know what I'm saying? So and, uh, I, I think that you're kind of underselling what Peter Petrov can do style wise against a guy like Terry Flanagan. You know, obviously, Terry Flanagan is, is good. I think he is quality. Um, and I think that he can go high in high places. And I, I favor him slightly in this fight. Um, but what we've seen against Petrov and what has been Petrov's kryptonite has been power and volume. And the only thing Flanagan has in that equation is volume. And to me, I can see Petrov slipping a lot of Flanagan shots because the Flanagan, to me, um, isn't the most refined boxer. He's good in everything he does, but he's not great in, in any one thing. Um, That's his footwork. That's what I think would be one of those main tools because, you know, Petrov... I think he's so big. He's just he's, he's a massive forward. lightweight. He, he he can oh, he can move up easily. Like that's his thing. Like he is so long. His jab is uh, has so much range and distance to it that I can see him just staying on the outside and outboxing Petrov. But I think Petrov's going to slip a lot of those jabs and really hammer to the body um, and work up uh, work up top. You know, off of that too. I just I think it's a lot closer fight than what I'm, what you're saying, MD. I know you're saying it's not going to be like easy. But I think it's going to be really tough, like 7-5, either way, sort of fight. Can you find his uh, fight night weights? If you're saying he's that big, I'd like I'd be interested to know what he weighs on the actual night of the fight. Um, you're telling yeah, me that well, Pe you're saying that Peter Petrov's big or Flanagan's big? I'm sorry. Flanagan. Flanagan. Oh, yeah. Flanagan is big, yes. He he's big. like... Uh, he's he's tall. He's rangy. Like he may not be heavy, but like for he's super featherweight. Big. Yeah, for a super featherweight. I mean, just to put things into perspective for people that may not know. Again, Terry Flanagan, not the sexiest name for us U.S. Uh, viewing boxing fans, but Timothy Bradley is five eight and goes up to one eighty. Fights at one hundred and forty seven pounds. Flanagan is five nine and a yeah. half. He's yeah, a ass kid. And he's not that. 
he's not built like um like a Victor Postal. You know what I'm saying? Like very thin. He's oh, a little, no. he's, yeah. he's got some body mass or muscle mass to him. Yeah, you know? and 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 you did mention before that this is the first uh show on um Frank Warren's deal with BT Sports, which I'm pretty sure BT Sports is owned by UAB, right? United Arab Emirates. Yes, I, I believe so. Yeah, so it, it's I, it's seen it's an international channel, and I know that Frank Warrington and again I'm not experts at, at the promotional aspect over there. I know it's been difficult for him to do deals with networks, so um, they're putting on a decent show. So hopefully this would help because I'm a big fan of the free market and competitiveness, and it's it would be nice to see Eddie Hearn have some competition over there, so they're both forced to put on better products. Listen, let's jump out to these phone lines. Five one eight, you're live on TBV. Who's this? Where are you calling from? 518. 518. Orlando 407. You're up. Yeah, man. I just was calling just to show some love and tell everybody to like the fucking video so you can put out some more. That's all I got. All right. All right. Well, thank you, obviously, for the support. We truly appreciate it. Uh, five one eight. I don't know if you're uh, you got your things together. Maybe you're at work. We'll come back to you. Remember, international callers. You want to talk a little Flanagan versus Peter Petrov being official in Manchester? Hit us up on Skype. Just add Nesta Gibbs to uh, join in the discussion. And uh, I want to remind all our listeners to head on over to the YouTube channel or iTunes so you can check out last night's Sunday edition of the podcast. It's definitely up and available. A lot of boxing talk on there. And uh, if you want a more condensed version, head on over to the YouTube channel for the Boxing Voices Weekend Wrap with Amber Koontz. Um, I guess that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, uh, not much to say. It's just a little sexy fight I felt um, needed to be talked about. I mean, Flanagan, a guy that we've been waiting now for some time to step up or show us just what he's made of. Petrov might be the guy to do that. I'm pretty sure that the negative people will still say Petrov has, you know, enough losses where Flanagan should not have any trouble with him. But that would be to the naked eye. I, I believe that Petrov has uh, some very good skills on the inside. And that's yeah, what's so, right in the I mean, Sullivan Barrera came off a loss to Ward, and now he's getting a big fight against uh, Better Beef. Better Beef. So sometimes when you lose to, to uh, good competition, um, you can become better. So we'll see. Matt, any final thoughts? Um, I think that uh, for anyone that's in the UK market or just the European market, because I know BT Sports is a uh, international channel, uh, you should be happy about getting good boxing on that channel and on that platform. And uh, the whole slate for it is not – awesome because Frank Warren doesn't have the deepest roster but it there's some talent and like Bradley Skeet's going to be headlining a, 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 an event um I believe they're going to try for Billy Joe Saunders on BT Sports as well so I, I there's a lot of good things to look forward to if you're in that market who's Billy Joe Saunders going to fight his inner demons no nah, who gives a fuck man I'm like I don't know name? I've seen a banner or a fight poster with with Saunders holding that belt I don't know who yeah. that is fighting, man. you know he's uh he's slowly becoming unliked uh, but this has been another edition of the boxing voice just a quick one uh from the rumor mill giving you these headlines and news as always bringing you the facts want to thank everyone that tuned in remember if you're looking for extra content never before seen uh, we do film studies fight reviews uh just about everything uh definitely footage of the tbv appreciation night third location rooftop you can check it out on patreon uh head on over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice i'm your host nesta gibbs find me on instagram and twitter at nest gto and you can find both my hosts you can find me at boxing md1 on twitter and you can find me at mixed combat news on twitter and my combat sports podcast covering mma kickboxing all that shit uh mixed combat radio patreon youtube soundcloud itunes etc Peace. Future, present, past. Hit that thumbs up button. Helps with the visibility of the show. We love you and we got to go.